Hey friends, it's me, Jeremiah. Long time no speak. Um, a lot's happened since we last spoke, which was last year. And I know every time I make a video, I keep saying I'm gonna do more, but my life just keeps getting flipped around. Anyway, I moved to Merida, Mexico part-time. Let's talk about it in a minute. <laughs> It's me again. Um, let's get back to what we were saying about moving to America. Well, um, since I last spoke to you, a lot have happened politically, emotionally, uh, physically. Um, life has been draining. Um, I really hurt my shoulder through working out in my job. Um, politically, um, I'm not comfortable where I was at in San Diego. Um, even though it's a safe place, but I just felt like the mood of the country was swinging into that there was a lot more anger than hate. And um, there's the love and support of everybody has seems to have gone off. So I just need to take myself out of the picture. So my husband and I, we moved. So we came to visit Merida uh, July of last year, July of 22. Um, we thought we wanted to go the worst time of the year, so it's going to be hot and humid and see if we could live hot and humid. Um, so we spent a week here. Um, we picked um, Merida out of a lot of places um, that we went to see, but we fell in love with Merida. So we started our process to get a temporary uh, residential visa which you have to go through interviews, you have to prove that you're financially capable, that you're not going to be draining the Mexican government, and um, that you can support yourself here. So anyway, we decided to take the visa in Las Vegas. That was easy to make appointments, and with my job and Ken's job, it was hard for us to join together when it was a good time. So anyway, we booked ahead, we got our visas, um, appointment set up for October of last year and so we went for three days and we interviewed and we got our temporary visa and the way it's worked out is you have six months um, before you have to go to Mexico within six months and then you get a final stamp and you get your card of temporary um, residential visa so we waited till February um, I started telling everybody uh, around Christmas time of last year, even though we were already in the process, but I wanted to make sure we were making the right decision and not that we were just living for what is, or I was not having a manic episode and just running into the road head first. So anyway, uh, we came down in March, February of 23 this year and we finalized our temporary resident visa. We came for three days. Um, we came back, and so our move out for an apartment that we had in San Diego was March 19th, I think it was. So it gave us some leeway um, to help lose some stuff and everything else. Meanwhile, we've been um, getting rid of some uh, personal items, etc. So um, fast forward to beginning of March, we decided we were going to leave March the 4th and we were gonna do a road trip. Yay! So it was for four nights, uh, driving through Texas, and then down the kind of coast of uh, Mexico into Merida, which is the capital of the Yucatan, and we're on the Gulf side uh, of the country, on the East Coast. So we was taking a dog, we have a big Doberman, and so she was having in the back seat, I was having a passenger, Cam was having a drive, so we'd swap over as we're driving. We had the trunk full and we had a big thing on the top of the car. And that's all we were taking. Basically, that's all we had left. Um, I have a very, very small place in San Diego still, uh, but I'll get back to that in a minute. Anyway, so we packed the house up, we got in the car, we were on the road. We'd already donated stuff that we didn't want. We'd given stuff away. We just decided to start afresh. Um, as we set off, Kai got really sick and she ended up with a disease of called MMM and it's a muscle wasting disease that attacks uh, 
muscles, your immune system attacks the muscles in your face and that way it eats away. So we had to get her sorted out right before we left. And so uh, that was a lot of um, money, but well worth it and she's doing good now. And so they gave her prednisone and everything. And since then, it's all been good. So anyway, we drive down four nights, Airbnbs, hotels, and then we get pulled over by the police. Only one time. And so we have a Doberman, which most people say the dogs are the sweetest dogs. And our dog is the sweetest dog. She is the sweetest of all dogs. Anyway, we get pulled by the police and, um, the cop comes along, didn't speak a word of English. It's our fault we don't speak Spanish that much. And so then um, we ended up giving him all our paperwork for um, to have the car, to legally drive a foreign plated car in, etc., etc. Insurance, tags, whatever. And then Kai decided she wanted to attack the cop. So um, anyway. Kai was growling, barking, snarling, and was foaming at the mouth, and the cop decided to let us move on. Anyway, from there, we get to Merida itself, and um, we came here, and um, we had an Airbnb of ourselves while we found a place. So we have an amazing house right now um, that we love. We're in a very small town called Chabul. I think I said that right. Anyway, it's a sleepy little town and I wanted to be somewhere quieter in Merida um, so we can branch out and look at different areas than be in the middle of everything. So anyway, um, I'm still working part-time in San Diego. I fly back um, 10 days out of the month and I go work there and I come back here and I can lounge by the pool and do nothing and then fly back. Um, so it's every 28 day cycle, I'm in San Diego for 10 days. So I have a small place there, and then we have the house here. Ken can work from here all year round. And so um, this to us right now was a perfect move, especially with the politics, whether you're Democrat or Republican, they're not pretty right now. And um, I'd like to slam all the heads together. Anyway, um, so I'm sure you're wondering why how do we pick Merida? Why of all places around the world, we didn't choose Canada, we could have gone back to England, we didn't choose another town in Sunday in the US, we could have gone to Chile, we could go to Argentina, we could have gone to all the places, but why Merida in Mexico? And guess what? That's going to be in the next video. So stay tuned and please like, please subscribe, please comment, please ring the bell. I'm trying to focus more on this with my life um, and I'm trying to do it not just for you guys but for myself, for my mental state um, and my mental health and everything else and dealing with bipolar. Um, this is a good cathartic thing that, for me to do. Anyway, next video, reasons why, we'll take it from there. Have a great rest of your day.